Make your kitchen ready for every summer gathering this Memorial Day with LG and Lowe's. Our exclusive InstaView appliance suite includes ranges with air fry, refrigerators with slow melting craft ice, and an exclusive dishwasher you can only find at Lowe's. Plus, you'll get up to 10% back via a MasterCard prepaid card when you bundle eligible LG products via rebate. Shop Memorial Day savings at Lowe's. Offer valid 3 3 through 5 18 on select LG items only. See Lowe's.com slash rebates for details and timing. Oh my gosh, it's been too long since I've been on a bike. I really like it. Living a healthy life free of gambling problems is a lot of fun and a nice change of pace. Did you say race? No. Yes. <laughs> Reconnect with yourself and the ones you love. If gambling is creating a problem for you, there's hope and help. For more information, call the Washington State Helpline at 1 800 547 6133 or visit evergreencpg.org. That's evergreencpg.org. Hey, this is BJ. Thanks for listening to our show's podcast. If you're a fan of all things geeky, you should check out my other podcast, BJ Shea's Geek Nation. We have new episodes every day, and you can check it out at bjgeeknation.com. Your driver's license is important so you can get back and forth to work, get your kids to school, and back and forth to daycare. If your license has been suspended because you can't pay your tickets, you can't do any of those things. Let's talk about Chapter 13 bankruptcy. You may have heard the tickets cannot be discharged, but they can be dealt with in a Chapter 13 case. Why not come in for a free consultation? The chapter you choose will make all the difference to your getting back legally on the road. Let's design a plan to pay off your tickets and restore your license immediately. I'm attorney Travis Gagné. Please contact me today at ChooseTheRightChapter.com. That's ChooseTheRightChapter.com. 99.9 KISW, The Rock of Seattle. You know, you think when you hit a certain age, like when you get into your 70s, the drama would be done. You'd be like, all right, I don't need any drama in my life. I'm done. You think that's what I'm hoping. I'm hoping that when I hit my 70s, I am just... There's a 76-year-old woman in Florida. Her name is Patsy. And her, you know what? The drama is not done in her life. Not by a long shot. What did she do? She flipped out on her ex and his new girlfriend back in September. Here's what she did. She's 76 years old. She drives up to the ex's place and vandalizes his car and his new girlfriend's car. I bet, well, actually, she crashed into his car, so she does that first. So she she pulls in. I mean, she's like, you know what? Bat out of hell, I'm coming, and just rams into his car. Then, after she gets that done, she gets out of the car and takes a bunch of oil and pours it all over the air vents. And then she wrote stuff like loves kinky sex and womanizer. She spelled it uh, W-O-M-I-N. Um, womanizer. Is, she writes it all in, in pink lipstick on the windows. She also I put a, an E in kinky, which I thought was pretty funny. <laughs> oh, yeah. She's really, you know, she knows what's up. Uh, then she, uh, our, our girl Patsy, went over to the girlfriend's car, poured oil on that, and then put a dead raccoon on the hood. There you go. Because that's... Uh, did she kill doing? the raccoon or did she just find it like roadkill kind of a thing? I The story does not tell us and I'm not sure I want to know because I'm afraid of the answer. Also, she wrote uh, in her pink lipstick on the girlfriend's car, she wrote slut all over that. Uh, oh. and, and that car was a BMW. She did so much oil and pink lipstick damage to the Beamer that it was it was damaged so badly. They said it's a loss. You just have to total the damn thing. Wow, so the, I, I got to imagine that the, the the boyfriend left her for this new girlfriend. Maybe was having sex on the side as well, and eventually just like ended the relationship or got busted, and then just stayed with the the mistress. That's no, I mean, I'm I'm, I'm no detective, but that's the vibe I'm getting from this situation. Yeah. Also, he left uh, he left Patsy for a younger woman because uh, he's seventy four, new girlfriend sixty four. How about oh, that? Yeah. Huh? Boy. yeah. Uh, the big shocker of the story is that Patsy was arrested. <laughs> I mean, don't know why. Uh, I don't know why that happened. I mean, she was completely in her right. I mean, you know, he's a kinky. He loves kinky sex, and he's a womanizer. He deserves all of this, right? I mean, my mom is around that age. She's, I think, seventy six years old, and I couldn't even imagine. Like, let's just say my mom and my dad broke up, which would just be mind blowing as it is. Like, I can't even imagine the two of them not being together. But let's just say that happens, and then she does all this stuff. That would be the most just insane phone call because you know I'd see it in the news and be like, "Hey, mom, I saw that you uh, 
did all these things. And she'd probably be like sipping on her Jack Daniels and be like, that's right, Steven. I did this. See, I have to tell you, I mean, uh, granted, you know the better than I do, but I think out of the two of them, I feel like your dad would pretty much go do something like I this. I was not thinking your mom. that too, actually. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, my dad has done that if someone parks in front of the house. This is the type yeah. of uh, reaction. Well, what if somebody parks have? in front of his wife? I mean, Whoa. you know what I'm saying? <laughs> hey. <laughs> I mean, come on now. I mean, well, he did almost run my mom over that one time when they were driving me and well, my wife that, back to the airport. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You see, and the then, only thing. And got, mad, and got mad at her because she hadn't jumped in the car quick enough. As he was backing up, and, 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 and she was, the door was open, and she's trying to step into the back seat because I was sitting in the front because of height stuff. And then as she's trying to get in there, my dad just starts backing up the car. And my poor mom is like hopping, going, Bill, Bill, slow down. And he's like, Roseanne, why aren't you in the car already? And I'm like, yeah. Dad, why don't you look at the rearview mirror before you start backing up first? Yeah, it's re- I think it's very reasonable for your father to say, look, I mean, as far as I know, everybody's in the car, I'm moving. That's how that, well, if I'm in the driver's seat... We're ready to go. If you can't beat me, then guess what? You get run down. Uh, oh, the text message I got from my wife as she's sitting in the back seat because, you know, she doesn't want to say anything. It's only going to fuel more in the fire. She's just like, what is going on right now? And I'm like, well, you got a little peek into my life growing up in this household. <laughs> just a, yeah, just a little bit of a peek. And, and I only, you know what? Here's my thing. I think your mom's only response in life is one thing, only because of my interaction with her. She's just going to bring cupcakes. That's that's the only thing I think about your mom is like, what's the problem? She'll bring cupcakes. That's the only that's that's the only vision I ever have of her, and it's a good one. It might not be cupcakes, but it would definitely be food. She'd oh, like, yeah. oh, Bill, you almost ran me over. Here, have some chicken parmesan. Oh yeah, Ooh, chicken. Parm. Oh man, chicken right. parm. Okay, all right. <laughs> See, uh, yeah, you're, you're, I'm always going to be on Team Mom. But then your dad likes Star Trek. All right, you know, it, it's tough to side. I mean, granted, your parents haven't split up, but I'm just thinking, who would I side with? It's going to be tough. It's going to be really tough. <laughs> you can hang out with both in a BJ. It's fine. Oh, oh they'll yeah, share yeah, custody yeah. of BJ? Yeah, I they'll think share that's, custody a, of BJ. Yeah, that's a good call. I like that. Uh, Google just released their uh, annual year in search stats. Uh, this is always fun to see because, all right, what the hell... Uh, basically, uh, are, are us deviants looking for when we search in Google? And uh, the top topics actually, um, well, not too bad. Uh, it's all, it's really, for the most part, about money. People were all about the money this year. Mega Millions was the number one search thing on Google. That makes sense. I, I've done that, where it's like, how much is the Mega Millions at? Okay. Also, this is something I know, I think you were involved in this, Steve, slightly. And that's uh, AMC stock was the number two oh, thing. Yeah. yeah. Oh, still am, man. To you and Danny, moon, right? To the moon. <laughs> yeah, you, uh, you and Danny, I see you driving the fancy cars now. Not yet. Oh. <laughs> it's coming, it's guys. It's going to happen. If you go on Facebook, it's still going to happen, man. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I want to remind you, too, <laughs> when I told you the story of my wife, who was told that she could make money off of the Vietnamese currency, the dong. Yeah. And <laughs> I, I told you the whole story about how she was bamboozled. And they're still waiting, by the way. This happened many years ago. Huge fight on the beach with my wife. It's supposed to be a beautiful thing. We're having a walk on the beach. And she breaks this news to me. And I'm like, are you out of your effing mind? No, we're not spending our money on any of this. In all fairness, you can make money on the dong. She just was with the wrong type of dong. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Here's the number three. And hey, BJ, I don't know, Danny probably still, I still bought pretty cheap on that stuff. So I mean, I'm still, I'm still making money. Oh, yeah. Made, oh, yeah. You're still, still making not, money, are you? Yeah. 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 So wait, wait, what are you going to do with it? What are you going to do with this big windfall? What are your kids, uh, what do you got going? What do you got planned for the, for the big earnings? Okay, well, we'll come back to you on that. <laughs> you to supersize your meals. Yeah. yeah, we will. Number three, again, we're talking about the most searched items on Google, and it's all about cash. Number three is stimulus checks. Um, People, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I mean, which makes sense. Trying to figure out when you're going to get them and stuff. Yeah, I remember Googling I that. Say, I think everyone searches, when am I getting my stimulus check? <laughs> yep. Yeah. And uh, number four, of course, uh, GME, which if you don't know, that is the ticker symbol for... GameStop, which was the other yep. crazy stock thing that people were doing. Yeah, some people made a ridiculous amount of money on that one, and they're still, you know, if you, you go on Facebook, where all the right information is there, there's still hope for that one having another big squeeze. You have to understand that there's always somebody that makes a whole lot of money on a big money making scheme, but by the time it gets to you, you're the it's one they're making. You're the one they're making money off of. You're the bottom totally. of the pyramid, baby. 
Not saying that, you know, this whole GME and AMC is pyramidy, but I'm just saying that, you know, uh, by the time I hear about anything, I realize it's too late. Like, you know, I may, people probably have made money doing everything that the news flash comes to me says they did. But by the time it gets to me, I know I'm, I'm the last man in. I'm getting nothing. It's not going to happen for me. You know, for me, it was like, uh, look, I didn't like put my life savings into this. It was more of like, just like, oh, this is kind of fun to be a part of like some kind of random, you know, Reddit revolution that people were trying to do. So, I mean, I bought stock on the AMC at like around like eight, nine dollars a share. And so, you know, right now I, I don't even I haven't checked in forever. I think it was like it's either at like 40 bucks a share or around hovering around that. So it's still kind of cool. But there was that moment where Danny and I and look, I. It was just fun to experience, like when it hit like seventy bucks a share, and both of us were like, "What's going on? Yes. This is amazing!" And then it dropped back down. But it was like, for me, a minimal amount of money put into it, and I've had a lot of fun, and I'm still making money from it. So at some point, like, if I ever need it, I'll, I'll grab it. But it wasn't like a lot of money where I'm like, "Oh my gosh, I I, I can't buy Christmas gifts because of this." Right. Unfortunately, Danny, though, he was a whole month, a whole month's worth of makeup money that he put into this. So it's that true. Was, <laughs> That's why I was yeah. really ugly for that whole month of like Aww. June. You know, it was weird not seeing you with eyeliner in June. <laughs> It's a tra- now. It's a funny thing because some people, you know, will that they have. I mean, they have it set up so that if a stock hits a certain price or if it falls mm-hmm. below a certain price, it automatically sells for them. I mean, you got that kind of. And so I would be kicking myself. That's why I can't ever day trade or do any of this stuff. Because if I knew it went to seventy, and now let's just say it's at forty, I'd be so angry. I I have to really be disconnected from all this stuff because I'll drive myself crazy. Oh yeah, dude. If I, if I like, let's just say like I backed up my four hundred one k and just put it all into that, or like some people like put your entire life savings into that, then that would be like one of those things where I'm like, did I just completely screw the pooch on this one, or is there still hope? You know what I mean? But like for me, it was just like such a minimal amount that I'm still happy that I have more than what I put in. Yeah, see, it's a, oh man, it's a rich person's game though because oh, you, you right. really ha- you have to put a lot of money into it, and, you know. And at the same time, though, you don't want to risk, like you said, your nest egg. So imagine people that can put like ten, a hundred, uh, you know, thousand dollars into something, and that doesn't really dent them. And then all of a sudden, when you get five times or you know whatever seven times the return. You know, all of a sudden they're like, oh, that's kind of cool. I mean, you know what? I, I just basically, uh, you know, doubled my nest egg because I was able to put, you know, a minimal investment for them, which is $100,000. But then, right. boom, next thing you know, ah, uh, that's a rich man's game. You know what I mean? Oh, I'm never, sure. never going to play it, buddy. <laughs> Never gonna play it, but you know, enjoy uh, maybe the free dinner you're gonna get or whatever. I mean, you know that with those profits, you get something. Oh, man. I'm gonna have the tastiest steak from that profit. It's gonna be awesome. <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> I hope I'm there to enjoy that with you because again, it was your profit, so I'm having a free steak. So I'm looking at it. <laughs> we got this couple. All right, talking about cash. Now, this is something you don't want to do when it comes to cash. This couple went through a one hundred thousand dollar divorce. Which is a beating. It's like, man, can't you end your relationship and, and and not spend all that money? Oh, how about this, though? They didn't end their relationship. They had a $100,000 divorce and ended up staying together. Oh, yeah, I'll tell you about these geniuses at 817 on The Rock. BJ and Migs, mornings on The Rock, 99.9 KISW. Kickstart summer at Lowe's with Memorial Day savings on major appliances like the Smart Whirlpool Top Load Washer featuring the two-in-one removable agitator and a color you'll only find at Lowe's. Take it out for bulky items, leave it in for a more thorough clean. You can customize any load, plus skip steps with the load and go dispenser. Simply add detergent once and skip the refills. Memorial Day savings start now at Lowe's. Shop in-store or online today. You know, I'm glad we can take this time for ourselves. I know, me too. It's nice going on new adventures, experiencing new things, and creating new memories again. I missed you when you seemed lost in your gambling. Well, I'm back and ready to visit new places and see new sights. Oh, and try new foods. (laughs) Yes, new foods. (laughs) If gambling is creating a problem for you, call the Washington State Helpline at 1-800-547-6133 or visit evergreencpg.org. Take the next step toward the career you want, be it business, cybersecurity, healthcare, or more. 
UMGC can help you get there. No application fee when you apply by August 31st. Visit UMGC.edu. Certified to operate by Chev. Everything is better electrified. Like the guitar, toothbrushes, or cars. And Hyundai has the widest range of electrified vehicles on the market, including the first ever Tucson and Santa Fe plug-in hybrid EVs. You can use electric when you want it or gas when you need it. It's your journey. Evolve it beyond the pump in the 2022 Tucson or Santa Fe plug-in hybrid EVs. Visit your nearest Hyundai dealer or learn more at HyundaiUSA.com. Call 562-314-4603 for complete details. 99.9 99.9 KISW, The Rock of Seattle. There's a couple in San Diego. They're named Brittany and Wylan. They got married in 2011. Ah, They were in their early 20s. And unfortunately, like the stats say, like 50% of uh, marriages in, uh, their, in your 20s end up in divorce. That's what they decided to do. They decided to get divorced in 2019. Oh, nice little eight-year run. Yeah, they both had issues with alcohol and relapsed. Which is another thing they tell you that if you both have issues like that, you better be sure you're cool before you tie the knot with anybody and get any relationship. So it seemed like the whole world was against these kids. Um, so obviously that prompted the divorce. And uh, for a while, they only communicated through lawyers. But uh, Brittany ended up going back to rehab. Uh, they're both sober again. She hasn't had a drink for almost two years. Uh, meanwhile, they started to, uh, see a therapist to help them co-parent because they have three kids together. Hey. Oh, damn. In those yeah. eight years, they were making uh, it happen. Yeah, they were. And, uh, <laughs> while that all was going on, they reconnected, finger th- figured things out and said, you know what? Maybe we should get divorced after all. And they're back together and they say they've never been happier. And, whoa, all right, Lulu, Lulu's like, are you sure? Uh, <laughs> Lulu just bolted out of the room. She's yeah. like, this story is BS, man. <laughs> How about this, though? Even though they never finalized their divorce, they still owe their lawyers $100,000. Oh, it is a messy business, man. It really, really is. Wow. Oh, there's no, like, there's no, like, a fine print that says, hey, if we get back together, all the charges are gone. Yeah. Wow. It is, um, Wow. Well, they feel like, you know what, there's nothing that their relationship couldn't survive now. Uh, but they say it'll still take a while to, uh, you know, basically get, get that money back. Uh, damn. And, 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 it's, and they're just going to have to pay it all off. Wow. $100,000. Damn, dude. I, I mean, a lot of things. A lot of things cause them a, a grief in their life, that's for sure. Uh, and alcohol is a big part of it. Damn. I, I don't know. Would you? I think I would be like, no. We said we're doing this. I paid a hundred thousand dollars. I'm leaving you. <laughs> I, I, I'm going to resolve this, no matter how much we get along. I know oh. we love each other, but financially, it just makes more sense. To, I mean, we, we might as well just get our money's worth and be divorced. Yeah. Damn. All right. So uh, it's not like we've heard this. Uh, we haven't heard this before. Motley Crue singer Vince Neil hasn't been performing his best lately. And yeah. in in various fan videos, he's been off key, out of breath. Yeah, uh, dude, it's been rough to watch. Like I see some of the videos, and I've I've, I've even said, I I don't know if I'd be mad at Motley Crue if they just said, "Look, we're just gonna have a different lead singer uh, for this final, do another tour." I, it, I I just I watch Vince, and he just doesn't seem like he even wants to get back into better shape, and. Man, some of the vocal performances are just not that great. And uh, that did not uh, keep Nikki Six, though, from praising. Uh, from he, was, he still had good things to say. He doesn't agree with you, Steve. He has good things to say about Vince. Oh, he's saying I, he's singing really well. He's clearly not watching YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he, obviously, he's just basically trying to save the brand. Because uh, here's what here's what Nikki said. I mean, look, it's nice that Nikki's being positive. He said, Vince has something that nobody else has. Isn't that what you're looking for? Guys that don't sound like anybody else? Well, I mean, yeah, you're right. He doesn't sound like anybody else unless you got somebody who was a little overweight and out of breath trying to do a Motley Crue impression. I know. I feel bad saying it's like he doesn't even sound like Vince Neil anymore. No. <laughs> just... Yeah. He said that every member of Motley Crue brings something special to the table. He said, quote, if you remove any one member, it completely changes the sound. I feel like Vince has already completely changed the sound, hasn't he? No, taking them at their when they're at their best, I don't disagree with them at all. I think that's a, they're a very unique band. Like you, Mick Morris plays guitar 
in a way that I don't really hear many other guitarists play it, and it, it's perfect for Motley Crue. Tommy Lee is such an underrated drummer. I mean, I don't think anyone says he's a crap drummer, but he is a phenomenal drummer, and his style is just, you know, you could get somebody to fill in for him, and it doesn't have that same feel. And they've done that before where, like, Tommy Lee wasn't playing for a little bit, and, uh, oh, man, she played with Hole, uh, Samantha Maloney, great drummer. Uh, but, man, her, her style, it, it just didn't work. It just didn't sound the same. And, you know, Nicky... He's got his own thing too with the, uh, on the bass, and, and then Vince, though, man, the vocals are just—he's struggling. It's not good. Yeah, it, it is. It, it, it look, we know this that happens, and it happens in general to any performers as they get older with their voice. And there's always some help that they've had over the years, but it seems like either they're not giving him help, or he, or he's beyond help. I'm not sure. Like, the way you can cover that up? No way to cover that up, I guess, huh? Uh, they don't want to be caught playing tracks? I don't know. Well, dude, I think they do use backing tracks. When, they do? Uh, I've seen Molly, oh, yeah. When I, I've seen Molly Crew. They've had some backing tracks, but, like, you know, he's still, he's still singing the main parts, and it's... He relies on the audience a lot, and you know that's when things aren't going well. When he like just points to the crowd, like, "Hey, finish this part," and you're like, well, "That's because you can't hit those notes anymore." So you're having to, and I understand it. It's a, it's an easy way to get around it, but that's why I feel like you know, find someone who sounds like Vince Neil and have him just kind of do the performance for them, and that would be okay with you because I mean, I mean, like when they got that kid who looked, you know, who looked nothing like Steve Perry for Journey, but he sounded just like Steve Perry. Uh, you know, I, I mean, a lot of people are like, okay, I don't care. I'll close my eyes. I don't got to look at the dude, you know, or I don't even, or I'm so far back in the crowd. I don't even know who the hell anybody looks like. Have Vince Neil introduced the band? <laughs> oh, <laughs> like, man. oh, brutal. Oh, <laughs> he comes out, he warms up. Hey, the crowd. hey everybody, how you doing? Oh, uh, here's yeah, the I, band and their new uh, singer. Right. I'll be over here in catering. <laughs> oh, it's tough. Uh, uh, yeah, I, I mean, I don't know. Uh, I mean, Robert Plant had the right idea. I mean, he still sings, but he won't do the Led Zeppelin stuff, probably because, you know, he can't do it. Uh, he's come out pretty much and said that. Uh, and, and The crazy part is he did that one show. Remember, Hair Club went to England, and Led Zeppelin got back together for that one show, and he said it was amazing, and it was great. But that's not playing night after night doing those songs. And I think also you're maybe a lot more forgiving because you know that he's said that in the past, like, hey, I can't sing these songs the way that I used to. That's why I don't want to do a tour. Uh, so I think Led Zeppelin fans were a little bit more forgiving because they knew that going into it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, Steve, it's an interesting thing. Yeah, like, you know, is it was he not that good, but people gave him a break? Or was it that he was at least for one night able to bring it, but that's it? I'm, You know, I got one night in me, that's all I can do. Uh, and Vince is not doing it. Uh, I can't fall Nikki for at least trying to be positive about it, but... It does, I mean, I don't know, it, it feels like a money grab to me when you got a guy out there who's just not bringing it, and yet he's still doing it anyway. Somebody said in the uh, early 2010s, we had Vince Neil for a show at a casino that I worked at. He got so hammered before the show that he forgot most of the lyrics, and we had to do mass refunds. Oh, man. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Well, you know what? It's the rock and roll lifestyle, baby. You can do it when you're younger. Your body can bounce back a little better. But, man, when you get to be Vince's age, it is not easy. It's not easy to bounce back from bad behavior. It, and bad behavior could just be having a couple of Oreos. I mean, really, that's how bad it gets when you get to his age. I know a few texters are calling him Vince Meal, and I'm like, oh, that's rough. Oh, okay. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Well, I mean, the trouble is he puts himself out there. Yeah. I mean, they're all doing that, and... I've said it before about a lot of performers. There's growing old gracefully. Some people do it really, really well. Other people don't. And I, 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 I feel like in this case, it's not, it's not going gracefully for, for Mr. Neil or Meal. Into Meal. That's rough. Yeah, that is very, very, very rough. Well, yeah. Yesterday, Steve, he did get this one right. According to Google, the chocolate chip cookie was invented in what East Coast state? Uh, I'm going to go New York. No. Oh. Is it Massachusetts? Yes, you it is. I did give you a bit of a hint there. Sorry. Yes. <laughs> I, I betrayed the integrity of the game. You want a shot at beating Steve? You got it. 206-421-ROCK. We're going to play Beat Migs at 847 on The Rock. Today's podcast was brought to you by Travis Gagne, bankruptcy attorney. He's here right now and has agreed to answer more of your questions about bankruptcy. 
Here's a question from a listener. Uh, my house is currently in foreclosure. I've stopped making payments. What can I do to save my house? If you're already in foreclosure behind on your mortgage, you can stop the foreclosure by filing a bankruptcy. There's different types of bankruptcy. Chapter 13 can help you catch up on your house payments if you're behind. It would mean that you'd have to start making your house payments again and catch up on the amount that you're behind over five years. You could also take off or strip off your second mortgage, which would help you to reduce your housing payment every month, especially once you're done with the plan and done catching up on your first mortgage. We could also try to buy you some time in the more in the in by filing a Chapter 13 case. Filing a Chapter 13 would definitely stop your foreclosure. Thanks, Travis. If you have more questions about bankruptcy, you can reach out to Travis anytime at choosetherightchapter.com. That's choosetherightchapter.com. And thanks for listening. Kickstart summer at Lowe's with Memorial Day savings on major appliances like the Smart Whirlpool Top Load Washer featuring the two-in-one removable agitator and a color you'll only find at Lowe's. Take it out for bulky items, leave it in for a more thorough clean. You can customize any load, plus skip steps with the Load & Go dispenser. Simply add detergent once and skip the refills. Memorial Day savings start now at Lowe's. Shop in-store or online today. Oh my gosh, it's been too long since I've been on a bike. I really like it. Living a healthy life free of gambling problems is a lot of fun and a nice change of pace. Did you say race? No. Yes. <laughs> Reconnect with yourself and the ones you love. If gambling is creating a problem for you, there's hope and help. For more information, call the Washington State Helpline at 1-800-547-6133 or visit evergreencpg.org. That's evergreencpg.org. Take the next step toward the career you want, be it business, cybersecurity, healthcare, or more. UMGC can help you get there. No application fee when you apply by August 31st. Visit umgc.edu. Certified to operate by Chev.